Edgar D'Souza. Edgar, you've just finished your PhD. Congrats. Yes, sir. Thank you so much indeed. Tell us a bit on the topic and uh, its its conclusions that you came up with. Okay, so basically my study was the study of tourist alcohol consumption experience in a drinkscape like Goa. So that was what I was trying to study. I chose Goa because, uh, you know, it is a place which is very frequented by a lot of tourists who come over here and to experience the fun, the frolic, the beach we have. And one of the incidental areas that they also look at is alcohol consumption. So I thought, why not uh, do a study and see whether, what are the factors that actually influence or impact the tourist uh, choice of alcohol or the place that they like to go, which is called as the drinkscapes. Or does it really matter whether they are with uh, certain people that they are and does that impact the, the people with whom they are, does it impact the consumption experience or does the service setting impact the consumption experience. This is something that I wanted to study and if they have had a, a positive uh, satisfaction out of this consumption experience, would they be willing to come back to Goa or would they be uh, willing to have this revisit intention or will they recommend this experience to somebody else is something that I wanted to study. And the conclusions were? The conclusions were yes that all, although uh, most of these constructs that I had studied, you know, the, the tourist uh, having a, a, a good consumption experience would definitely revisit, revisit Goa or recommend this to somebody else. Uh, although uh, there was a certain concept that was studied, the drinkscape, that is a place where you are, actually didn't have such a emphasis as the people with whom you are or the service settings, you know. So that was uh, one of the takeaways from here. So the drinkscape managers should not only concentrate on the on the ambience or the entertainment or the structure per se, but also they should give emphasis to uh, a service quality and as well as uh, places for socializing because that is something that came out from the study. This is from the Goa, for the Goa Business School and you've been in the industry yourself. I have worked for 13 years in industry in this industry Where? as a hospitality manager. I worked in hotels like the Liga Goa, uh, the Jumeirah Beach Hotel, the World Trade Center Hotel, Martina Jumeirah in Dubai, the Diamond Tree in Kuwait. I see. So, 13 years of experience in hospitality and for the last uh, 14 years I have been in the media academics. I see, I see. Teaching food and beverage service. Does alcohol have an image problem in Goa, in India in particular and if so, how do we overcome that? In, in India, people could see alcohol consumption as a taboo because you find a lot of people who do not consume alcohol. But for those who consume alcohol, they look forward to this fun and frolic excitement and that's the reason they come to Goa. Actually, when it comes to uh, alcohol consumption, a lot of places actually are promoting uh, alcohol consumption through things like wine tourism, beer tourism, Tourism. So we also as Goa having a heritage beverage like Fini should take this forward like you know and promote something like Fini tourism like you know to be in the same niche market as the other spirits. Last question, the field has changed very vastly in the last few years. That's right. Uh, right from you know uh, wine, uh, sorry traditional Goan wines being Correct. focused on Correct. and uh, big players like Dia Diago and things like that having brands connected with Goa Correct. and also people like Desmond G and all that yes. experimenting with with uh, things yes. from Goa. Correct. So how does this change the equation? Actually, it is changing it for the better. Like, you know, our, our local players are doing a lot in their capacity to be able to promote alcohol tourism. See, we have already created a, a brand image for Goa of being something of sun and sand and churches and temples. But we are also now looking at things like hinterland tourism. So I think alcohol tourism will go a long way to create this brand identity and take it slightly different, give them more things to do, more activities to do in the area of uh, having a good consumption experience. You were also giving a word of conscious uh, co of, of uh, caution saying, talking about responsible. Responsible uh, drinking is something that we all need to do. Like, you know, and uh, it, it is a social concern over here that people uh, look at the ill effects of uh, alcohol consumption. But I think if drunk in moderation, it can really go a, a long way in building up uh, social etiquettes and also helping people socialize better. So yes, uh, drink in moderation, drink responsibly, and I'm sure you'll have a nice time. Thank you. Thank you so much. All the best.